Okay, so here is our challenge today, 4 minus 1 divided by 4 minus 1, and a lot of students might be saying, okay, mister, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen, subtraction, division, I learned this stuff in the third grade, so I tell, that's fantastic. But go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, three option A, B and C, and we will check our answers. If this is really interesting challenge, and a lot of students do this common mistake, and in this video I'm going to fully explain you how going to do this correctly, step by step, this is a really interesting challenge. First of all, we have our challenge, let's rewrite our challenge right here, so we have four 4 minus 1 divided by 4 minus 1. So here's our challenge. This is our looks like first interpretation. And a lot of students solve this question like that. We have 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3, and we have the same expression on the right hand side. So 4 minus 1 equal to 3 as well, with this division in the middle. So 3 divided by 3 gives us we have one. Yeah, and this is option A, and a lot of students say, okay, option A is a correct answer, and let's go to the next challenge. I solve this correctly, and let's go to the next challenge. And for this uh, case, I tell them, okay, mm, we should know what is the correct order of operation, because how can you solve this challenge like that? This is like a randomly method. You just do whatever you want. You subtract from here, you subtract from here, you divide. So you do whatever you want. But in math, in terms of math, it's a real great thing to know about order of operation. To know how can we solve this correctly. To know a correct property, correct rule. Yeah, and it not works only in math. You should know what is the correct thing to do in other correct uh, thing. Okay. So first of all, I want to start with this second interpretation. So it was our first interpretation, and right here we have our second interpretation. But in this second interpretation, I'm going to use this order of operation and it. This case, for example, this PAMDAS order of operation, doesn't matter, BODMAS, PAMDAS, whatever you want, whatever you prefer, I use PAMDAS order of operation. And this PAMDAS order of operation helps us to evaluate mm, the algebraic expression with a lot of math operations, okay? It helps us a lot, because, for example, we have an easy expression, but imagine you have parentheses, you have square root, you have exponents, so it's really hard to work with that, and with this PAMDAS, it's a really great thing to, to evaluate this expression. So let's do this exactly in this, in this moment. So how can we evaluate this expression? First of all, this PAMDAS works from the top to the bottom, and we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses at first. So parentheses has the highest priority, then we should evaluate exponent, then we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step is addition and subtraction group. So higher position, higher priority, lower position, lower priority, okay? So let's scan what, what, what do we have in this challenge. We have subtraction, we have division, where do we have it? We have subtraction, addition, division, so subtraction we have right here division we have right here. And as I told before, of course, let's reject our, these steps because we don't have it. We don't have parentheses, exponent, multiplication and addition. But as I told before, higher position, higher priority. So it implies that division has the highest priority than subtraction. And it is obviously because division is high, has the higher position than addition subtraction in general. So multiplication division group has the higher priority than addition subtraction group. So we should start from this division. So 1 divided by 4 equal to 1 fourth. Yeah, so we have 4 minus 1 divided by 4 equal to 1 1 fourth. Let's write it as a fraction and minus minus 1. Okay? Okay. And we complete this division part. We, we don't complete this, obviously, because we have 1 fourth. But this is a really great moment, because 1 fourth equal to 0 0.25. Yes, we can rewrite it. And uh, after this moment, we can easily say, okay, we complete this division part, because we divide 1 divided by 4. And the last step, this is like basic subtraction. Obviously, we don't need our order of operation right now, because basic subtraction. So 4 minus 1 equal to 3, and 3 minus 0 0.25 equal to 2.75, which is option C. And a lot of students confused about these two interpretation. Uh, first type of students tells okay, correct answer is A. Another part of student tell correct answer is C. And a lot it turns into a big argument because um, students don't know how can you solve this correctly. And then they ask okay, but what is the correct answer, Mister? Correct answer of course is option C. And what about this option A? Because if you look closely, right here we had subtraction, then subtraction, then division. This is the worst mistake in terms of math because all the time subtraction is our final step. So firstly we should divide the expression, uh, where do we have, of course, the division sign, and then subtraction, division, whatever you want. So addition, subtraction is our last step. And in this moment, this is a very big mistake. But if you put brackets, if you put parentheses, okay, then we can easily uh, solve this question like that. Parentheses right here for 4 minus 1 equal to 3. Parentheses right here, 4 minus 1 equal to 3 as well. And then 3 divided by 3 equal to 1. Yeah, this is absolutely correct solution, but with parentheses. In our case, we don't have parentheses. We have a regular expression without any parentheses. Also, we reject these parentheses from here. So we forget about this option A, which is a really bad mistake in terms of math. Correct answer is option C. First division, then subtraction from left in a strict order from left to right.
right. So we hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel with basic math pre-algebra concepts, so I hope you will enjoy it and I hope you learned something new. This is my main goal on my YouTube channel, so don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If this video is helpful in any way, if your answer is the same as mine, don't feel bad and leave a like, write any comment. It really helps me a lot, it inspires me a lot to make new videos every day, so thank you for your support, thank you for your time, see you in the next videos and take care.